I'm Mike Shrews. And I'm Tivis. And you're listening to... The Monster Cast. Episode 59, uh, I guess. Welcome back, everybody, to the Monster Cast, the podcast where we watch and talk about the monsters. I'm, of course, your host, Mike Shrews, here with my co-host and friend, Tivis. So, please, Tivis, tell us all, because we're dying to know. How have you been? What do you mean, you guess? <laughs> <laughs> I guess what? It's episode 59, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but that's not telling us how you're doing, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot to get something to drink. Oh, well. oh, wait, I got water. Sweet. All right. So uh, real quick, guys, before we dive into the show today, please follow the MonsterCast on all social media platforms. That is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also catch us and see our pretty ugly faces every Monster Monday on YouTube via YouTube.com slash at the MonsterCast. That is youtube.com slash at the MonsterCast. That'll take you directly there. Also, all links to social media and YouTube are in our description, Uh, whether you're watching the video already or whether you are just listening on your um, podcast service of choice. It's in the show notes there for you guys. So definitely check it out. All of our links, everything that I'm about to say here right now, definitely go and uh, click those links and get to it. You can also go to just themonstercast.com and check out all of our content in one spot. You don't even have to go anywhere else. You can just go there and click on through all those little tabs. There is also a mic icon on the right-hand side of the screen. You can click that and leave us a quick little voicemail, which we can play on the show for you guys, so you guys can actually be on the show without having to work around certain schedules and stuff like that. And I think I I really should emphasize it's a microphone, not a little mic. (laughs) Oh, to this. (laughs) <laughs> um yes and uh you can also go to the monstercast.com slash merch shop and uh pick up some awesome teas i am wearing of course the election tea that i uh designed for you guys there all the shirts are designed strictly for monster fans and shows uh or fans of the show here guys uh definitely check those out pick up a shirt and i try and keep them as low as we can um so that we're, we're barely making anything off of them <laughs> so yeah uh did you get your definitely two cents from me? Up. <laughs> right uh and then uh, you can also email us at the monstercast at outlook.com there you can tell us your monster stories uh try and get on the show if you want we got a couple people lined up uh planning on coming on who have messaged us um and we've talked to them and stuff and yeah, we just love to hear from you guys in general. So whether it be through the microphone um, piece on the website or through email, definitely just contact us, reach out to us. We'd love to hear. And on social media, we constantly are um, interacting with people, especially on Facebook, uh, uh, more so than a lot of others. Twitter, we usually do. Instagram, there's not a whole lot, but uh, definitely check it out. We know. Uh, yeah. YouTube blew up, though, so. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. Uh, appreciate doing good. everyone on there. So yeah, definitely, and uh, just share us basically anywhere you guys can or want to, um, and especially if you have any friends and family that like the monsters in any aspect of it, no matter what iteration it is, just share us uh, and see if they're interested in ooh, anything that we have to say about any iterations of it, guys. So we appreciate that. Uh, and we also have a Patreon, which is basically just a tip jar. Uh, I'll be a little transparent with you guys. If you enjoy our videos, this production value is definitely not cheap. And unfortunately, it probably will be going downgrading sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if you could really help us out, that we would so appreciate that. Uh, but... As always, it is basically just a chip jar. You don't have to. Audio listeners, nothing will change for you at all. Uh, And obviously, we will still be doing the show uh, via video as well for the rest of you. You're just going to notice some of this stuff is going to disappear. 
Uh, <laughs> but more important. Uh, oh, also, if you do decide to give to our Patreon, you get access to our Discord where you can watch along with us the the week before these come out. Mike puts the episodes on there because. We have not found a viable alternative that will get us in trouble. And we don't want to get in trouble. Uh, we we would like to be in good with Universal for any future content uh, that they release. <laughs> Just Yeah, definitely. And, yeah, no... Uh, it's it's just the easiest way to, to put it out there without having to deal with getting in trouble with anybody. Yeah. So. And but more importantly than all of that, what really helps us is if you leave a review, if your podcatcher allows that, uh, you know, like us on uh, YouTube, share our stuff around, tell a friend, all of that stuff helps the show grow and become better more than anything else. And one final thing, there's still time to get your votes in for the Rondo Awards. Yes, do that. I just put mine in uh, the other day. I sent a, sent my email out and everything. Um, so what you guys do is you just go over to RondoAward.com. They have the whole thing set up there. You just copy and paste it literally into your email. And you can like highlight which uh, things that you want to select um, to win. The Monsters, uh, Rob Zombie's The Monsters movie is up for a Rondo. Uh, for the feature film, I believe it is. And um, you can also, if you guys are so gracious enough, you can also write us in for the podcast. Uh, so definitely, um, if you like the us, and uh, we would love to see what would happen if we would even be viable to <laughs> win, win an award yeah. for that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, so I, yeah, you definitely I, do I that. I and... will, be cool. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. to be on the list even if we get up there and nominated it'd be kind of cool get enough in yeah. there um so yeah and definitely do that three weeks three weeks is it three weeks holy crap yeah it yeah. ends april 23rd for audio listeners. and if you got and bonus guys too if you have like 500 emails just keep doing it <laughs> from each individual email <laughs> i don't endorse that but it is a technical <laughs> loophole <laughs> All right. What yeah. episode are we talking yep. about today, Mike? <clears throat> All right. Today we are talking about Professor Grandpa, which aired December 10th, 1988 on this week's episode of The Monsters Today. Ooh. Uh, why is my thing want me to force quit everything? No. What? what, no, what the no, heck? don't do that. No, stop. It's trying to get me oh, to no. force quit everything. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Uh, your system has run out of. Okay, so then we'll we'll close this one here. Yes, there, boom, and and we'll close. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Why is everything? It won't let me exit out it's of. It's been this. a while since we had computer problems. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think that should be good. Yeah, I had like twenty. Outlet caught fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if uh, I don't know if it was on the Monster Show, but uh, we did our other show, the Operation Babble Guys, and we, as we were recording, the outlet underneath my desk literally caught on fire, and it was, it was interesting. Luckily, I had uh, two other people on the show to to run the show as I was taking care of the fire under my desk, <laughs> and, and we didn't Ooh. stop either, you know. So I uh, like. It's showmanship, you know. We were the Can the be, uh, <laughs> that was the Chris Rock moment for that show, you know. We just kept going no matter what bullshit happened. Poor Chris <laughs> Rock. Um. Anyways, yes, All we're right. uh, talking about Professor Grandpa, which aired December tenth, nineteen eighty eight. On this episode of The Monsters Today, Grandpa is, you know, feeling old. He is just feeling his age and he decides to go back because he is not ready to update to tonight to today's technology so he goes back to school for a little bit and uh we see what happens guys i totally didn't write something down for this so i apologize 
<laughs> I couldn't tell. Could you uh, not tell? I know it was so perfect. <laughs> So this is the 10th episode of season one. This is the 80th episode of Munsters overall. Uh, this was written by William. Sire, C-Y-R, Kyer, Kier. William Sire. Yeah, this is his only writing credit and only credit on IMDb period. So unfortunately, if he did more, don't know. Because IMDb is lackluster when it comes to these niche shows, unfortunately. Uh, it was directed by Lee Lockhead, though. Mm -hmm. And this is the first of nine episodes that uh, he will be directing for Monsters Today. Uh, oh, he's no. Got oh, no, no. Oh, 13 good, directing man. projects in total, plus three assisting director. Uh, his first assisting job was, uh, or I'm sorry, his first directing job was on an episode of the 1980 Flow. Uh, he then did nine episodes of Alice, uh, four of the Facts of Life. We got two of Barney Miller, 15 for Too Close for Comfort. Uh, he did an episode of Different Strokes, uh, a couple episodes here and there, but for a couple projects. Uh, then we hit Monsters Today, and after that, his last writing, uh, uh, directing, I'm sorry, directing credit is for Harry and the Hendersons, where he did 13 episodes. And that was uh, in from ninety two to ninety three. Oh, you can you can definitely tell. <laughs> so um, <laughs> the unfortunately again, as I said, IMDb is lackluster, and this is where my main issue with it comes from. Uh, because there was a class classroom full of a bunch of people, you know, the only person who gets a guest credit for this episode is Professor Forbes, played by Jack Fletcher. Now, this was his last acting credit, as unfortunately, just over two years later, he would pass away. Uh, his first role was as a wizard in the 1964 Once Upon a Mattress TV movie, which was a musical adaptation of Princess and the Pea. Uh, he was on two episodes of Bewitched, 11 episodes of uh, Calusi's Department, I think is how you pronounce that, as uh, mostly Oscar Cosgrove, but also at one time as this character called Fletcher. Mm. Uh, he was on 13 episodes of The Bob Kane Show in 1975 as Dylan Lynn Ingersoll, uh, five episodes of the 1975 show Grady as Mr. Pratt, four episodes in season two of the 1981 Give Me a Break as Mr. Sweet whack hammer <laughs> uh he was also in six episodes uh as mr whitendale in the jeffersons which is on my list of shows to watch so i look forward to seeing him in that and finally the same year as this episode that we just watched he was uh uh played mr bigelow on elvira mistress of the dark nice which we haven't tweeted this out. This will be a couple weeks back now, but there's an Elvira comic coming out. Uh, I think this summer, mm -hmm. I believe they're three months in advance. They release these things, but uh, it's got every, like, well, almost every Dra uh, Dracula ever, including months, uh, grandpa monster, the original. Yeah. The original grandpa monster, what had count Chocula. Yeah. And... Uh, Duckula. <laughs> Blackula and a bunch yeah. of others. Yeah, it's awesome. We got to get that tweet out there. It, it, it'll definitely be out by the time this episode's out. So if you missed it, go to our <laughs> socials and check that out. Yeah. All right. Uh, who else we got? That's that it? it. That's the only person they credit, even though we have a whole classroom full of people. That's weird. Yeah, it's frustrating. Are you sure they didn't? Let's see. I'm positive. I tried looking for other websites. Of course, the the w fan. What, I keep wanting to call it wiki. I I'm an old person here. The fandom <laughs> page fandom. doesn't have individual episodes for most of this show because it's just, this show has got such little support on the internet. Yeah. Well, hopefully that uh, one of our guests that we will be having on, um, we can talk to him about it and see what we can get built up for all these people that don't have yeah. any recognition for this show because there's so much out here for the monsters today that it's just like i don't know what universal was doing what they thought because i mean this show got emmys emmy nominated and all that stuff i'm stuff 
I'm just like, why, why are you burying a show that got you guys awards and stuff? You know, it, it makes no sense whatsoever to me. Um, and it was on even longer than the original show and stuff. It, it, I don't know. It, it, who knows? It would be like if Paramount was. There I go, my dogs. If it would be like if Paramount decided to do like only the original Star Trek show and like buried Next Generation. Okay, maybe that's not as, as an exact comparison. Some people would think, uh, but still. Let's go Next Generation, Deep Space Nine. Oh, fuck you, Deep Space Nine is dope. That's what. That's why I use that comparison. Deep Space Nine. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. It would just be like them burying something and. Oh, there's somebody walking around outside my house. That's why. All right. Oh, I thought they were upset at Universal. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we open with. Let's dive in. Uh, Herman is wondering. They're li- they got some wallpaper samples. They're wondering why they need wallpaper. And uh, Marilyn and Lily are looking through them. He thinks their home is as perfect as the day they moved in. Uh, Lily does her best to keep it dry and dusty so everyone's happy. Uh, Marilyn says that it would make a nice change, but Herman doesn't understand wanting to change something that looks perfectly decrepit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the lab door explodes. <laughs> Grandpa, they need to put a freaking anvil on top of Grandpa's lab door and just lock him down there so he could just just keep him there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Grandpa comes up and Lily's like, what? What just happened? He's like, oh, it's my new hair tonic. It they never used to explode, but ever since I switched to synthetic wolf's bane, <laughs> yeah, that's synthetic stuff. It's not as good, but you know, for a lot of stuff, especially nowadays, it get pretty damn close. Uh, Eddie is at the table. This is the first time we notice him. He's got a jar with a spider in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's asking why grandpa doesn't just use uh, neck and shoulders like he does. <laughs> Which I love that joke. Uh, Lily agrees as it helps get rid of Eddie's fleas and his mane has never been more manageable. Yeah. I I didn't like this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Grandpa is not happy as Rapunzel herself gave him that tonic recipe, and he isn't going to give it up. He just mm. needs to find a way to get real Wolfsbane again. Then there was another explosion, <laughs> like your dogs. Yeah, and isn't this when they said something about using the microwave? Um, almost. First, he yells down to tell Le- he's. Leonard, Leonard turned down the burner. And yeah. I'm like, who is Leonard? It's a skeleton. You didn't know that one? They they gave I, him a name. Did in we before. know his name before now? I probably yeah. forgot it. Okay. Oh. So I'm like, who the fuck is Leonard? <laughs> uh, so Grandpa is annoyed as he's he's given him instructions to turn it off when it reaches a roiling boil. Mm-hmm. And that's when Marilyn wants to know why he isn't using his old Bunsen burner. Or why he's using why his old Bunsen it, burner yeah. when they bought him a new microwave for Halloween. So again, Halloween treated like Christmas, kind of like we saw in the the movie that hasn't come out yet, right? No, that was the that was uh, it was the sequel to the 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 last one with the original cast. No, not all the original, but uh, yeah, with the wax museum and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they had the Halloween tree and stuff. So. Yeah. It wasn't Monsters Go Home. It was uh, Here Come the Monsters. Or no, Monsters yes. Revenge. Monsters Revenge. Monsters Revenge. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Here Comes the Monsters was the, the reboot that hasn't come out yet. Trying to remember all these titles. <laughs> it's getting to be a pain in the butt. But I'm, I'm trying to keep it up. Yeah, what's sad is it isn't even that much. But <laughs> It's yeah. okay. I my, my kid just had a birthday party the other day. And uh, all of his friends, or he had some friends over, his girlfriend over and stuff. And they couldn't make up their minds what they wanted to watch. And I told them if they didn't make up their damn minds what they wanted to watch for everybody, I'm just turning on the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and it's not going to be the colored one. <laughs> uh, so you mean the good stuff. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, his his great grandfather used that burner, and if it was good enough for him, it's good enough for Grandpa. Yeah. Uh, she tells him to get with the times, old man. <laughs> it's nearly the 21st century. Don't get left out in the cold. <laughs> Jesus, Marilyn. <laughs> Dude, Marilyn is is she has she like a she has a off sh- this episode. <laughs> she has a shift in this entire episode. I'll tell you that. Good for her, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and I, nope. I'm still happy. We're 10 episodes in, and we still haven't had the whole Marilyn is ugly stuff. No, so that's not good. at all. Uh, Lily uh, chimes in saying that, y- you know how the cold makes your rigor mortis flare up? <laughs> uh, Grandpa thinks the old ways are the best. Herman says that isn't true. If not for modern innovations, how would we ha- they have such things as air pollution or oil on the beaches then another explosion and they all head down to yell at leonard yeah, grandpa keeps blaming leonard as he walks into the uh <laughs> are we calling it a dungeon or a lab or basement i call it a lab but either or it's really a basement right yeah because every and, and i love the gag every time uh we go down there herman hits his head just like uh Tim Allen would do in Home Improvement. <laughs> uh-huh. I wonder if he, that's where he got the gag from for Home yeah, Improvement. Maybe. That'd be but fun. Lily starts yelling at Grandpa, stop blaming Leonard for everything. So Grandpa says, you're right. <laughs> then he turns to Stanley and yells at him for not keeping an eye on Leonard. Oh, uh, yeah. And for people who don't <laughs> remember, Stanley is the rat. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's <clears throat> lab assistants are great. They don't move. Stanley's locked up and Leonard just sits in the chair. What do you, how is that in the system? Well, at least Igor flew around the damn lab. We know that Leonard can move. He's, he's waved and stuff before. Yeah, but he just sits in the chair whenever we see him. So far. Yeah, well, maybe he's just lazy. <laughs> hey, shush. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Herman finds this melted metal disc and asks if he was trying to make cannonballs. And it, that's when Grandpa snaps. That so was his great-grandfather's Bunsen burner. Yeah. And he takes it from Herman, burning his hands. And as we know from a previous episode, Herman is immune to heat. <laughs> Which grandpa's, grandpa's wearing gloves, so those gloves should have burnt. <laughs> yeah. Like, they should have melted to his hand because they're like plastic. Like, I don't know. I wonder why they went with the gloves for this uh, version of Grandpa. Maybe because they didn't want to have to... Because you notice his whole body is covered in this show mm-hmm. all the time, except for his face. So I wonder if that's just his way of being like, I don't want makeup all over my body. Maybe. Didn't Al Lewis wear gloves, though? Not all the time, though, right? I'd have to go back and look at some photos. Crap. Yeah. It's been a it while because like, we watched all the movies and stuff too. Yeah, wow, I I honestly can't remember. All right, so uh, yeah, Lily tells him that this has to stop. Uh, Grandpa's Grandpa promises to get one of those uh, butane burners instead, and he tells mm. her, uh, <clears throat> or no, he promised to get a Bunsen burner or a butane burner. Grandpa says, don't rush me. And she goes, you promised that 60 years ago. I guess uh, Al Lewis did wear gloves all the time. That's what I like, thought. For the most part. Yeah, that the Grandpa character has always been like gloved as far as I can remember. But did he wear them when they went to the beach? Ooh, that's a good question. Yes, he did. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, details. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's, that's good. I just um, pulled up the, the image. I was like, is it is it on the beach one? <laughs> so so uh, Herman begins mocking Grandpa for not knowing how to use one. And Grandpa responds with the best voice that, no, I don't. <laughs> it, so Ma- <clears throat> Marilyn gets off. <laughs> yeah. Marilyn's like, hey. oh, oh, hang on. I got to get that. There you, there you go. Oh, he's wearing arm sleeves. <laughs> Yeah, so for uh, audio people, we got the picture up on screen right now of Grandpa Munster from the original series um, wearing arm sleeves. 
uh, at the beach while he's being buried in one of those episodes. It was the episode where Herman got taken by the uh, Russians in the submarine, right? Yeah, the hunters yeah. just did that one. I, how did we not comment on that at the time? <laughs> I don't know. This picture's in color, though, so that was a colorized photo because that episode was in black and white. Yeah. All right, anyways, sorry. Yeah, uh, do, 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 let's see. No, I don't. Uh, so Marilyn's like, hey, why don't you go check out Mockingbird Heights University? Their chemistry courses, you know. Mm-hmm. You can pick up some new tricks. And he's like, oh, fine. I'll go learn the modern stuff. It doesn't take a ton of bricks to fall on me. Then one singular brick falls from the ceiling onto his head. Yeah. And I'm going to... Uh, I love his acting through this because then he, he begins to wobble. Like he's just been taken for you know a riot because this... He's not like Herman. He can't just take a punishing blow like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, he's an he's an aging Dracula, bro. Come on. Yeah, literally. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that and makes me he's... wonder. Oh. It, well, who was his great grandfather? Would that be the original Dracula? Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. Oh, because he he is Vlad Dracula. Yeah, in so in this in this show, he's Vlad Dracula instead of Sam Dracula, like in the original. Uh, so, Grandpa's family. I want to know the extent. Why have we not seen his sister? <laughs> Didn't he say he had like siblings? Two of them. He probably ate them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Al Lewis's grandpa was a lot more sinister in the way he talked than uh uh this one so far yeah, so uh, this guy is more indifferent which i also love yeah <laughs> yeah howard morton does uh <laughs> it's definitely its own grandpa he's his own grandpa i'm my own grandpa uh, <laughs> so is this futurama uh yeah <laughs> anyways uh, so then we go on over after he gets hit on the head with the brick and does the thing. He uh, we go into a school, which I'm assuming is the same the exterior for the. Yeah. Yeah. So is this confirmation that Marilyn is in college? I don't know. Because they Cause still have not specified these. I, I will tell you this right now, though. When we go to this classroom here and you see these students in this these do not look like college students <laughs> at all what do we f- what okay how do you mean i think they look like they're in high school oh they're too young okay that's they're, a- they're like saved by the bell shit <laughs> like <laughs> yeah right, but, uh, i mean you can go to college right at 18 you're saved by the bell the earlier years <laughs> about that some people age slowly uh but yeah we have like what like four people sitting at a table and then someone sleeping this was the 80s bro all these kids were probably smoking their ass off they should have looked a lot older (laughs) (laughs) oh jeez. yeah so uh grandpa's in a chemistry class and they're learning about oxidation oh grandpa interrupts the professor by saying why not just uh why not just say that it rusts if you leave it out? And the professor asked Mr. Dracula to keep quiet for the last time. And then he's uh, like, I'm not going to ask you to be quiet one more time. Yeah, and like, Grandpa's like, well, that's good because I won't stand. For, I won't be quiet while you tell no these in- kids all this shit. I got no intention of being quiet while you bore these kids stiff. Yeah. Yeah, chemistry should be fun. And it is usually, unless you're in the nursing program, that it's cutthroat. Don't leave your lab unattended. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. My wife was in that. Uh, they will drop shit into your experiments to sabotage your grade. Uh, <laughs> and then we that's have... why she left it. <laughs> then we go back to. Um... Well, there's a few more stuff in this scene. Uh, yeah. No, the, no, the... that's in the same scene. Uh, oh, yeah. Because like grandpa's talking <laughs> to the students, like trying to like do like the whole 
like hype them up type moment and stuff for education or something. I'm not really even sure exactly what he his purpose was. I think he's <laughs> yeah. just trying to lead the revolt in the class. <laughs> yeah, the, the professor's like lab is serious business, and Grandpa counters with Alexander Graham Bell. And the professor's like, <laughs> you couldn't have known Bell, <laughs> and he's. Uh, grandpa's like who do you think lent him the first nickel for that phone call <laughs> which that's not how that works but all right <clears throat> he's like i also talked him out of creating the alexander graham cracker <laughs> <laughs> yeah <I was> like, <laughs> what <laughs> and, and for a minute there for a minute there i was like thinking i was like wait a minute no that's not right <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it tricked me up for a second i was like mother <laughs> He's like, Al, you're much too good to be a baker. Invent yeah. something with a little ring to it. <laughs> the class begins brightening up and looking more lively at these jokes that Grandpa's making. And yeah. the professor's just not pleased. He walks right up to him and asks if he knows so much. Why is he in an entry level chemistry class? <laughs> Oof. Okay, counterpoint. <laughs> if you know so much, why are you teaching an entry level? <laughs> yeah what he's like uh he said why are you doing uh what are you doing in introductory class and grandpa's like well not much it seems that <laughs> <laughs> uh someone walks in and hands the professor a note to go see the dean so he's like all right so here's what you're gonna do memorize this periodic table i'm gonna quiz you when i return which fuck you dude my junior year of high school the entire chemistry class was memorizing that table you cannot expect a class to memorize the whole thing in one session. <laughs> These are they're, they're college students. They should be. Smarter. It doesn't matter. They're college <laughs> students. They should be smarter, right? Isn't that how this college... is an entry level? <laughs> Isn't that how college works? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, he tells the Mister Dracula not to have any more trouble up his sleeve. And I, mean, I thought Grandpa was going to start pulling shit up his sleeves, but he just stands up and does some magic to impress the class then he goes up to the chalkboard and begins showing them stuff that his buddy merlin taught him now we're learning alchemy <laughs> now we're back at home is your dog still going nuts is that why you're quiet no no sorry i was reading a voicemail that was just sent to me from my kid's school Oh, okay <laughs> oh yeah important stuff yeah okay yeah. <clears throat> yeah so we're back home and uh lily has a baking pan as herman herman's head oh that's right she's got like this square pan on his head while she cuts his hair yeah. like a, instead of a bowl cut it's like a square cut like a, a cake pan cut almost yeah so eddie's chasing a fly with a strip a fly strip behind them yeah oh that's what exactly catches... what it is it, it's it's a it's like a brownie pan like yeah okay cook, like that's a small what I... batch of brownies in yeah eddie catches this fly and he just laughs the most evil this <laughs> dude his uh Marcus's <laughs> laugh is so evil perfect uh, is perfect um that's uh oh go ahead uh i was just gonna say marilyn's kind of a bitch in this scene. <laughs> yeah yeah she she enters the scene with the black wallpaper that they requested and she's like i don't understand how like do you not know how depressing it's gonna be if you use this color yeah. and all three of them in unison just go yep she this so, is where you really see Marilyn start to like change up a little bit in here, I think. Yeah, she's, she's it, not before going with we've family. Yeah, well, like before we never really saw Marilyn go against like the family yeah. stuff like aesthetic, really. We like we saw a little bit in that episode where we saw her bedroom and it was all frilly and yeah, comfortable and nice looking. Which makes no sense because she thinks that she's the ugly duckling of the family. So yeah. Also, when they went to go stay at the hotel that time, they Airbnb their house. Uh, yeah. She was just as miserable as the rest of them living in comfort. It, so just, just I, I I look at Marilyn now as like so if you're like a normal preppy family, I guess I, I don't know what those are anymore because we don't really have 
I guess there are some. You see them on YouTube. Oh, and they're shit out like there. That. Yeah, like you're a normal preppy family, but then you have like that goth emo kid. Marilyn is the reverse. She's like the opposite of the goth emo kid living in the goth emo house. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or because their house, honestly, their house is almost like Ozzy Osbourne's house when we they did their TV show, <laughs> the Osbournes or whatever. Oh well, my God, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, maybe Ozzy bottled it after this. Who knows? <laughs> He's into some weird stuff. He bit that bat that one time. He's the reverse Dracula. Oh, that was an accident, first of all. Like, let's not put that false narrative out there. He was on drugs, but it was also he didn't accountability. Think it was, he didn't think it was real. Okay, it doesn't matter. Accountability. What what year did he do that? Oh God, you're asking me some stuff. That... Or mid eighties, probably. That yeah, was I... that was Igor. That's He's... why we don't have Igor oh. anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, it makes so much sense. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Um, Igor flew to the wrong concert during those 20 years. Well, speaking of bats, uh, one flies into the house with this tiny handbag. Can I just say, I, I love that little touch of the little like school bag in his claw or yeah. paw, yeah, the little and then grandpa, tiny baggy. Turns into himself, you know, flapping with a briefcase on his hand. So uh, he can change items that he's carrying as well. 1982. So it makes perfect sense that that was Igor. Okay. There you guys go. Seven. So I was bit off. There we go. Now we know where Igor's. (laughs) (laughs) Or one of grandpa's sisters. (laughs) Oh, we don't know that they were all Draculas. Ozzy, sorry. somewhere there's werewolf DNA. Uh, <clears throat> let's start. Let's start that rumor out there. On top of the whole, Marilyn is a succubus. <laughs> yeah, that's all we need. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Grandpa flies on in with his like little briefcase and the little bat paws. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, he, he feels like he's 255 again. Yep. I can't remember what age he said he was in the deportation episode. <laughs> I thought it was like. 300 and something i think it was all right so this tracks they're doing a really good job with the continuity in this this version i'll I'll say that yeah uh lily says that he looks great for one day in class and grandpa's like oh i taught the class how to make thunder and lightning and the front door is still open and you just see that it's storming outside so looks like he did a good job and he's loving the attention (laughs) Something about being around inquisitive minds that makes his blood flow redder. And Marilyn's like, hey, what about this wallpaper? Don't you think it, <laughs> don't you think it looks real terrible? And to her dismay, he agrees that he likes it. <laughs> uh, so now we're back at the university again. And the professor is teaching them about the history of alchemy. And the founder, Archimedes. And I think I have... Oh, I did have a note. It was for Alexander Graham Bell. So, if you somehow don't know who this guy is, I find it hard to believe that you wouldn't, but he created his first invention at the age of 12, which was a simple dehusker that was used at the local uh, factory. Okay. And, And because of this, his dad gave him his own, like, space a workshop basically like hey keep earning us money you're a genius so uh he's also credited for uh the first working phone but he was actually in a very tight race with um elisa gray uh who finished his own similar device around the same time bell obviously got to the patents office first but gray disputes that until uh, the for the rest of his life uh, Gray went on to be the father of music synthesizers, though, so he still w- became well known for sound. Okay. Yeah, just a little little history because I I like it. Uh, yeah. So we're back at the history. We're learning about the Archimedes. Uh, he turns to Grandpa and is like, "Do you have any issues with this?" And Grandpa, I love this line. 
Not unless you have any interest in accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> the professor is so fed up with him at this point. He's teaching the class outdated facts that aren't in the syllabus. And Grandpa claims scientific facts are never outdated, which, okay, first of all, little tangent here. Yes, they are. They're constantly outdated. That's part of science. You, you continue to question it. You learn more. You discover more. You throw out the stuff that becomes irrelevant. <laughs> it's a constantly evolving thing. Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa is a terrible scientist. Grandpa sucks. <laughs> He's not really a scientist. He's more of like a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so Grandpa complains that the syllabus doesn't include anything about turning gold into lead, which is the wrong way around, first off. Uh, the professor laughs at him and asks if he honestly believes that old wives' tale. And Grandpa says never, or he never had any old wives tell him that tale. Yeah. <laughs> so we're keeping with the fact that he has many wives. Uh, so the professor hands over his gold watch and says, go ahead show me <laughs> and like someone in the class is like hey are, are you what sure if, about this what if he can actually do it uh... yeah you know that's it's an expensive watch yeah <laughs> Gra- he's like yeah go ahead I, I have he's never gonna be able to do it so grandpa begins he puts his hands over his watch he he breathes on it and he says the incantation spirits Which... of the which isn't really science, by the way. It, no, would this be is magic. S- magic, yeah. I'm just like, that's not... No. Even if he did it that way, he, the professor is still right. <laughs> like, yeah. there's Unless we're going by Thor logic, which... Magic is just unexplained science. Yeah, and that was thrown out recently, too, so... <laughs> well, so science, yeah. is fi- science is just magic. That's explained. Oh, no. Fucking people. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, his incantation. Spirits of the living dead. Transform this watch from gold to lead. Nothing changes. Uh, Grandpa tries again and nothing. He doesn't understand it. He's been doing this since he was a kid. Yeah. Professor says that was a long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> now get the hell out. And how cocky, how cocky the professor was about this whole event and stuff. Yeah. At first, I was starting to think that um, that the the watch was fake gold. So hence oh, it would, I was that like would have thinking, been good. I was thinking Full that's gold? why. Yeah, I was thinking so that's why it's not because Grandpa's under the assumption that it's actual gold, and when he's doing the spell, the spell is going to go based on the fact that it was re- real gold, and it's not. So therefore, it wouldn't be able to turn it into. Uh, what is he trying to turn it into again? Lead. Lead. He's trying to do yeah. the reverse of what he did during right. uh, Rock Fever. Right. So I'm just like, if that's the case, you know, that I thought that would have been a funny outcome to it. That would have been great. Like um, to find out it was just fake the whole time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then Grandpa gets kicked out of the class. Yeah, yeah. The, he's like, get the hell out of here and don't slam the door on the way out. So Grandpa uses magic to do it for him. And this, <laughs> the, the professor's jaw just drops like, oh, my God, he can do magic. <laughs> he taught the children how to summon lightning and thunder. <laughs> yeah. So then we go back to the house and uh, everyone's doing wallpaper. But Grandpa's moping around like a big old 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 baby in his chair from now on i'm going to refer to this chair as grandpa's chair because he is in it almost all the time he took it with him to prison with him yeah. they got it back <laughs> he didn't take it necessarily to prison they they put it in the, the jail cell because he took it with him to no uh, the chair was in the jail cell before he was <laughs> Right, but they the reason that it was even over there is because they took it for the interrogation for the uh uh not IRS, what the hell was it? Ice they're, basically they're ice basically, I yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't remember uh immigration. That was it. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah, there we go. 
So, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, he he's like, can someone get me some more scalding water for my hot water bottle? Or he asked Lily this. Um, <clears throat> Lily's like, give me a minute. I'm doing wall. Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> it's like if I stop now, we're not going to get any of those nice lumps under the paper. Yeah. He's like. I would get it myself, but I don't have a cane. <laughs> I was like, You're not that old, you son of a... <laughs> He's just depressed. So, yeah. everyone everyone knows I'm old. Why? Or everyone knew I was old. Why, why am I the last to know everything? <clears throat> so, Marilyn offers to do it just to shut him up. And also, she hates this wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Herman asks Grandpa what he thinks of the paper, and Grandpa's like, "It's too bright. I can't tell." <laughs> He's just a grouchy old guy now, which is not that different, honestly. Uh, no, no, he's he's the same. He tur- he tells Eddie turn down the lights, so Eddie smacks the wall, causing an electrical shortage. So the lights go out, and the bar shoots out dust onto Lily. <laughs> Which the expression on Eddie's face, I don't know if uh Marsden didn't know this was gonna happen, but he's like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> and Lily just starts petting the board. <laughs> uh, maybe it was some leftover stuff from another shoot they didn't realize was in there. <laughs> uh <laughs> it, it it play it plays out very well though. Um it does. And grandpa goes on about how like uh he can't see right yeah because he's she gonna starts call talking. dr cutter for an ex- eye exam yeah and then uh uh Marilyn or lily's like you know what do you need an eye exam for your eyes are perfectly good and he's like who who said that who said that? it's like come on dude like you said eyes not your ears you dumbass <laughs> yeah she basically just said stop being stupid <laughs> yeah but i i could 100 percent see like i know people like this <laughs> but they're not doing it for comedic effect they, they yeah. want they want the attention I, I do love how the the bird uh the raven pops out and he's like you're old <laughs> you're just old and, and herman takes a piece of wallpaper and just closes him in to his yeah. uh, herman's like it's only been one day how did you get so old and grandpa's like that was then and this is now yeah, <laughs> which yeah. I mean, to be fair, with the elderly, it is scary how much one day can change. Like oh, when yeah. my wa- wife's grandma passed, she fell and hurt herself bad, and it was like she was fine the one day, and then after she hurt herself, it was like just downward. Yeah, she didn't talk, she didn't eat, she didn't anything. She just passed. Like okay. Mm-hmm. That's well. There, there's a thing going future on. Future scary. In, there's a thing going on right now in the news currently about something kind of similar to that, where you know, old person got they fell down and now they're supposedly brain damaged and all this shit. So I'm just like, oh, okay. Getting I'm old not is gonna, scary. I'm not going to say the exact events, but if people watch the news, they know what I'm talking about. I watch the news and I don't, but we don't have to get into this because uh, Lily demands an explanation about what Grandpa's <laughs> talking about, and Grandpa just goes, "I forget." Yeah. <laughs> so, so I Marilyn, just... <laughs> go on, go on. Uh, Marilyn's back with the water heater. Herman tells him to get the hell up and help, basically, but he's too weak. Lily yeah. is finding this hard to believe and just shouts back at him, and that's when the Raven pops out and Herman just. <laughs> And Grandpa admits he is and then tries to take a nap and begins flapping his arm. He said, oh, I'll just walk. Oh, he's tired. That's what yeah. he said. I, I didn't finish my sentence for some reason. He, <laughs> he doesn't transform. He's like, I'll just walk. Lily, help me to the lab. Yeah. So now oh. we're cutting to the lab. These bolts are hurting. They're kind of tight. They're kind of tight. I got to loosen them up. Ah, There we go. Oh no, he's gonna start kicking his leg. Uh, <laughs> Lily and no, Herman uh, bring down. Not when I touch them myself. Come on, <laughs> jeez. What do you yeah, think don't... I am? Some animal? <laughs> I got a hump every. <laughs> Nikki, <laughs> come rub my bolts. 
<laughs> Thankfully, she's not home oh, to yell God. at me. <laughs> oh my God! All right, <laughs> I don't know where to go with that, but so so would would Herman's bolts be his B spot? <laughs> Okay, so Lily and Herman bring food down to Grandpa. And I'm just going to cut you off. That's the only thing I can think of. I broke uh, everything. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, Grandpa gets up. He's like, all right, screw it. I'm just going to walk because he can't fly. And then he starts like walking very slowly. And then Lily's like, all right, come on, old man. Like, stop being a baby about it. <laughs> This is something like like a, a two year old would do to their mom. Like oh, I can't walk. I just fall down on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So uh, th- now we're in the lab. Lily and Herman are bringing food, and Lily's like, "Hey, I got this idea, but we need to lay it on thick." Herman doesn't need to be told twice. Grandpa is a pain in his ass now and then. <laughs> um, so they open it up. Grandpa managed to turn himself into oh, awesome. Uh, for audio listeners, Mike has brought out. I believe the DC Frankenstein Mm -hmm. and uh, just put Mr. uh, or uh, uncle Gilbert on his shoulders. So uh, (laughs) yeah, uh, they open up his coffin and grandpa is a bat again. So he managed to do that at least. Uh, So he turns back. He's so hungry. He could eat a horse. And uh, Lily's like, no, that's that's much too rich for a geezer like you. She brought him strained iguana bro- uh, broth. Broth, yeah. That is a trick. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Strained uh, iguana broth. Uh, Grandpa doesn't seem pleased, but begins sipping it anyway. Uh, Herman has great news. Hey, Grandpa's like, uh, you ordered What's the ear news? trumpet I requested? And Herman's like, <laughs> Herman <laughs> begins shouting that they didn't but quickly drops it once grandpa gives him a look out of annoyance. <laughs> Was this part of the plan or did Herman forget that he's not actually deaf? Uh, maybe I think it was part of the plan to annoy him. Yeah, maybe. But then yeah, again, with this crazy. Herman, it's hard to tell. Right. Uh, yeah. He's, so he tells them that there's an, uh, a, a great opening at the uh, old folks place right by. Um, what is it called? It's right by the parlor. But what is the old folks place called? Isn't it have like a like a shady something? I, I don't something. remember. I didn't write it down. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's the one thing I did. He's like, well, well, how do you know? And he's like, it's, it's oh. the, the spot's going to open up within a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. well, how do you know that? And he's like, it's my business to know. <laughs> yeah. so, it's the, the parlor. It's the parlor like pre like setting like when these people are gonna die like they're they're purposely killing them because it's right next door do do they own the old folks home and they're double dipping (laughs) i feel that would be there's got to be some ethical thing that would stop a a a part a a funeral home from owning this is the 80s when they started putting regulations on this stuff this is basically what we have today but a little worse (laughs) Right, because we got rid I, of all those regulations because we're smart. I'm curious if funeral homes can own like old folks' homes and shit like that, or or things like you know. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> or do you just have your kids put it put it in your kids' names? <laughs> yeah. But uh, Lily jumps in now. She's like, "Look, he can move right in. He'll be under 24 hour surveillance, where he will be watched constantly if he needs help." And Herman's like. Yeah, that means you'll have to give up night flying, of course, but that's all right. You're too old anyway. Lily thinks uh, that as much as they love him, they think it's in his best interest if he goes here. And Herman said, uh, or if, and then Herman cuts her off. He's like, locks him up and throws away the key. <laughs> Lily smacks him. And mm. they have an aside right behind grandpa. So there's absolutely no way grandpa couldn't hear this, but it's like, what's Herman's like, you said to lay it on thick. And she goes, yeah, well, you're using a shovel. And Herman's like, force <laughs> a habit. <laughs> <laughs> so they go back to grandpa and apparently he's too zoned down thinking about this future for himself to hear what they just said. 
and he's there and lily's like we're gonna go to the attic and start packing some stuff up for you and herman's like so how uh how does it feel knowing uh that it sounds like you have will have nothing to do and nothing to look forward to like god this episode makes sounding old get so fun <laughs> and grandpa's like it's for the best so yeah, their plan's not going too well. Uh, Lily and Herman leave, not not happy about this. Her, yeah. uh, Grandpa puts his napkin on the pot of food, which probably eats it. <laughs> he begins saying goodbye to Stanley, who whimpers like a dog. Uh, then the to Leonard, who waves at him with a tissue, as he's trying his to face. wipe his face. Yeah. And then Eddie and walks down. Clearly, the the puppeteer didn't know what they were doing at first because they were just like. <laughs> they couldn't do it right yeah eddie's down there now eddie if you remember those of you who remember in the original show eddie and grandpa had a bond like yeah grandpa experimented on him and eddie took it <laughs> <laughs> that, that uh, was and, bond. and then grandpa manipulated him into trying to get the family on his side uh yeah but, they have other words uh, for that nowadays tivis <laughs> yeah <laughs> But there were episodes that showed that, you know, uh, Grandpa really cared about Eddie's well-being and stuff. So, uh, you know, Grandpa's in the middle of saying goodbye to his three eels, who I I've never noticed in the background before, but one reaches for him and he smacks it away. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie wants to know if he's really leaving and if he, uh, you know, can I come with you? What? No, I'm sorry. It's for old people. But you're not but you're old, not old. Grandpa. <laughs> I was like, the professor told me I was, and Eddie's like, "Well, do you know what? Think about all this stuff that you could do that the professor can't." And that this begins cheering Grandpa up a lot. Actually, mm. uh, he calls the professor a boob, which is a classic insult that you know I don't know if it should be brought back or not, but it's always funny to hear. <laughs> I don't understand it either because we, we all like boobs, everybody. Men, yeah. women, gay men, uh, gay women. It don't matter. We all I like wonder boobs. if it comes from something else, like maybe the blue footed booby, the weird ass bird. I'm pretty sure they're not smart. Let's look it up. Okay, he's gonna look that up. This. Um, so to finish out this scene, uh, he then begins getting angry and begins researching how his experiment, which was an experiment, it was a spell, went wrong. Uh he then asks Eddie to help him, and Eddie howls <laughs> with excitement. So once again, the only family member that could bring grandpa out of this funk was Eddie kind of bringing back that bond that they had in the original show without the really negative connotations that came along with it. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, okay. Going back to the classic show, grandpa experimented on the whole family. Let's not forget that. Uh, it wasn't just Eddie. <laughs> But he experimented on Eddie a lot more. He experimented on Herman a lot, too. Ah, here we go. Ah, you found it. Maybe. I'll, I'm going to read through this as you talk. All right. I'll move on to the next scene then at the college. So uh, the class is going on. The grandpa comes in and interrupts the professor. The people in the, the, the you know, the cl his classmates begin clapping out of excitement. Like, yeah, the fun guy's back again. Uh, the only one who doesn't clap is the guy who is constantly sleeping. Why is he even there? Uh, <laughs> the professor says grandpa is like heartburn after a chili cheeseburger. What the fuck is that? Uh, oh, sh <laughs> uh, wait, a uh, what? Chili cheeseburger. That's, that's what the guy says. I had to rewind it and make sure he didn't say hot dog. No, chili cheeseburger. <laughs> so, yeah. Grandpa mm -hmm. brought his entire family to the uh, to the class this time, and the class takes one look at them and runs. Uh, <laughs> they're hiding behind the chalkboard. Uh, the professor says the resemblance is uncanny, and Herman thanks him. Herman's the only one not related uh, <laughs> by blood. Uh, he then, the professor then tells Grandpa, that, "Look." Uh, uh, oh, 
I'm sorry. Herman tells Grandpa that the professor doesn't seem like as big of a windbag as Grandpa claimed. I really have to write down who's saying what in my notes because I... <laughs> I'm getting lost here. Uh, the professor distinctly remembers Mr. Dracula t- asking Mr. Dracula that they'll leave the classroom. And leave. Grandpa distinctly yeah. left the classroom and you watched me do it. <laughs> so there was nothing saying I couldn't come back. So... so- uh, all right, oh, okay. here. I think I got some. So, I mean, like, boob is how we call people, like, you're you're a boob or the boob tube or things like that. Mm-hmm. So, it has several different ones. Uh, a stupid, awkward person. A simpleton. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's used, at, of course, to talk about, like, a breast. Um, oh, yeah. But that only became a, a thing because uh, it came about when we call it breast boobs. It came about because of the word bubby, which also means breasts, which comes from German. Britain. Oh, it's German. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, meaning teat. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I guess, you know, cow's teat, boob, I, I guess. they're about yeah, That the makes same. sense. Yeah. That, a lot of people don't realize many but, of our American English words were derived from German. But as far as like the origin of using it as a derogatory or just like saying you're really awkward or type of thing like that, there's not much history I'm finding on it. A lot of the origins are just why we call breast boobs now. Um, yeah, of course, that's what everyone's fascinated with it just says this is a very common slang word that's not really inappropriate uh it's not a sexual thing because it says boob it just means yeah i i i'm assuming it's just a another way of just saying um the dumb dumb you know thing like that yeah so the dumb I'm gonna tube, have to the boob. Yes, it has to come boob. from that bird. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure their intelligence is not great. Mm. It's been okay. a long time since I read up on them, though. I used to get National Geographic, and one of them was about that. And I'm like, hey, this bird's name is dumb. Because I was seven. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's dive back into the classroom. Okay, so he's like, hey. Let me try this again. And the press is like, hey, you already tried your half-baked Hocus Pocus on this watch. Mm-hmm. And the class is like, give me another chance. And the press is like, all right, fine, whatever. Here's my watch. The class asks him to, uh, oh, no, wait. Grandpa does his incantation again, except at the end, he includes the magic word. Please. The watch is now lead. <laughs> and the professor says, big deal. I can't, yeah, I bet you can't turn it back, which... We know from a previous episode, he absolutely can with the help of his device. But Grandpa yeah. sees through this trick and just says, you're right. Here's your lead rock. Well, <laughs> didn't, didn't the lizards break the, the device, though? No, they just no. turned themselves into lizards. Oh, OK. Ooh. <laughs> that could have been tragic because my water's right there. DC Frankenstein just attacked Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um anyways uh so yeah he he turns in there he's like yeah no i can't i can't turn it back there's no yeah, way he, we can do he that. sees it i want my watch back yeah too bad here you go here's your lead because <laughs> <laughs> you're an asshole um, the professor calls it a cheap parlor trick but herman takes offense he never does that at his parlor yeah and the professor begins uh or has been teaching a long time and the old ways are the best didn't he just mock this with grandpa? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. What was that whole scene about? I think that uh, wait, wait, between Herman and Lily and stuff. No, no. When the professor at least said the old ways are the best. What? I don't know what just happened with the video, but yeah, I don't know um i uh so good on your end yeah yeah we're good here uh, yeah, i don't <laughs> understand what the professor is getting at here i have no idea uh this that that one annoys me um 
And then Herman ends up blowing something up in the lab. <laughs> well, we're not. So that we're still in the class. But yeah, yeah, oh, he ends up blowing something no, up in the yeah, class. Yeah, you're right in the, in the classroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he takes like is, two uh, little Grandpa vials. Chimes in that he used to think this. Well, Grandpa first starts chastising the professor. Hey, uh, I used to think like you do. I'm like, yeah. So your point. Out this, I used to think the same way until my family and this class here changed my mind. Now mm. I march to a different tuba. Grandpa pulls <laughs> out a vial or something, and the class runs <laughs> away again. Yeah, uh, uh, runs away from the professor as uh, he does this man a favor and puts like a dab of it on the guy's neck. And the professor's like, no, no, no. I buy my, I use my own fragrances. Thank you. Then steam erupts from his ears and he begins dancing and talking like a ringmaster. He asks any questions. And that's when Herman's like, yeah, what happens if I pour this into this? And and like, he just, no, don't. <laughs> he just does it, dude. He just, a, he doesn't even wait for the answer. This is something <laughs> a kid does. I'm like, my kids have done this. They've li- what if I do this? He is just enveloped Boom. in smoke for the rest of this scene. And all you hear, you don't see Herman. You just see his outline and just hear, whoops. Yeah. And Lily's next to him like, Which, oh, God. I, I will be honest, though. I've literally done that to my wife, too, while we're in the kitchen trying to make something. I'm like, what if I put these two things together in the pot? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 there have been times where I've mixed chemicals too, because I'm like trying to clean something, and I'll be like, "Hey Nick, what if I put this with this uh, bleach?" <laughs> I didn't do very well in chemistry class. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, what did he do to that professor, though? Like, did he give him like a happy charm? Did he like? I can take control of him. What what just happened? Is this going to wear off? Is the professor going to be depressed after this I don't, insane dude, high of happiness wears off and he's going to be like a drug now? Because it was just a spell. So it was, was a just... potion of some kind. Ooh, was it grandpa's blood cookies? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So now we got this final <laughs> scene at home. This is a real quick one, so we'll yep, just yeah. knock this out. Back at home, the family admire the house's new look, which to me looks the, the same. same. I don't know about okay. Herman yeah. thought the house was perfect before, but looking at it now, mm-hmm. there's no comparison. Yeah. Marilyn asks if it's just her or and the whole family cuts her off. And it's, says just it's just you. you. <laughs> and then we end Christ. with that. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> All right. Like so they I didn't get, like... they didn't even give Marilyn a chance to finish her sentence. Like she, they just like, nope, fuck you. Like <laughs> this isn't your house. We pay the bills. You know, <laughs> like it's just you, woman. You have your bedroom. <laughs> Go decorate your bedroom and all your preppy stuff if you want. <laughs> so. I feel like you have some strong opinions about this episode. So why don't you go first? Oh, I just didn't care for it that much. I I, I found it very. Mm. Un, uh, uneventful so this was like what how i felt with the astronaut for you <clears throat> yeah. uh yeah. i i actually really enjoyed this one uh aside from the very annoying inconsistencies with the professor's feelings on science mm-hmm. uh yeah I, I i enjoyed grandpa <laughs> suddenly realizing how old he was the 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 stuff with the lab the eels eddie is being the one to bring him out of his funk uh yeah. the, him and the professor like two people with vast knowledges of different areas you know a grandpa with alchemy him with science just butting heads with each other because you know magic versus science it's it's a classic thing um yeah I see it, that yeah uh, yeah, I, I know. I it's hard for me not to enjoy grandpa centric episodes, though. Uh, regardless of who's in the role, the character is just so great, and the, every yeah. per, every actor who has stepped into oh, it. Brought, 
has brought their own ver- uh, you know unique spin to it as far as the acting goes dude howard morton killed it in this episode like oh, yeah. uh, regardless of how i felt about the the, the story itself he mm. killed the episode man oh yeah. uh, and it was pretty much him like herman and them they didn't do nothing like they were they were wallpapering that took them five days probably <laughs> and did uh, they oh my question did they tear down the old wallpaper before they did it or did they just I put it up so. over top of the that's gonna piss off whoever decides to come back and remodel <laughs> that house when they all like leave it finally oh they're just gonna tear that shit down don't you remember they want a parking structure that one group did yeah I, I forget what they were going to do with it in the original series. I think they were going to tear it down in the original series, too. Yeah, they were going to bulldoze yeah. it. They just yeah, wanted to that's tear the house down. Herman basically I, unintentionally threatened them all with his, you know, swinging the wrecking ball around, moving Bro. the giant uh, bobcat. <laughs> I, that house is going to... I'm sorry for that house. <laughs> yeah uh, so you know I, I i actually i did enjoy this one so but um mm-hmm. i mean it wasn't a horrible episode there there have definitely been worse episodes of the monsters that we have watched in the past oh yes oh and yes. And, and there's definitely been uh worse like was side the, there characters. was at least two episodes of the original show that just straight up made us unhappy where they just changed everyone's character. Yeah. Yeah. They just changed it all. (laughs) At least this one is staying uh, current with how they're setting these specific characters up within the past 10 episodes. They're all about the same. Uh Oh, what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about, uh, (laughs) I think the hunters are coming up on one of those episodes. Oh no. (laughs) Oh, Oh, well, they're gonna be so unhappy. <laughs> when aren't they? <laughs> I don't. Uh, so I got to say, you know, I mean, it's not a horrible episode. Uh, Howard Morton again, great. It just wasn't one that I felt was like up there, you know, mm-hmm. for me. Other than that, I mean, it's fun. It's cool yeah. to see more like creatures in Grandpa's lab. Now we have. A precedent of there's like the the uh what are eels. they eels yeah he calls them eels no uh, it didn't look like no eels no it looked like a tentacle creature <laughs> yeah yeah so um, what are no, we talking next oh we didn't I, we didn't go have any um any sign of uh spot in this episode no we didn't so spotless but, but we did get a howl yes we did and, so far, uh, only like two episodes where he hasn't. No one has howled. Yeah, and I always do like seeing the monster, like Herman and stuff like that, in different outfits than their basic outfits. So when they were in like the the, even though they were just doing wallpaper, they were wearing like painting suits for some reason. <laughs> like, yeah. What? Are you, why? Why are we doing that? Okay. Um, Can I just say, you know, the howl was kind of annoying me when we first started this. This episode might have turned me around on it because I was just oh. the, again the interaction between Eddie and Grandpa. Just that, that I re- I really enjoyed that. I think it's the placement. If they do the placement properly, it, it's good. If mm. if the placement's kind of like it's just in the middle of a sentence or something, I don't. I'm like, eh. or if it's not earned, you know, like yeah. when Herman did it, I was like, what the hell are you doing, Herman? You don't howl. Stop howling. Anyways, uh, what are we doing next week, dude? We are saying ah. Say ah. Oh, is this a dentist episode? Yep. And, uh, is it? Maybe. Is it for real? No. Now you have no idea. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> I'm like, is it say ah? Or is it say ah? <laughs> That's, it'll be interesting to find out. Um, listeners, let us, if you don't know, let us know what you think it is. And I believe this Sunday is Easter. The episode, this episode comes out. So if you celebrate that, have a happy Easter. And if you don't, I hope you have a wonderful week regardless until we meet you again. And don't forget 
three more weeks to submit for the Rondo Ooh. Awards. Who doesn't celebrate Easter? I mean, even if you don't celebrate for religious reasons, there's still the Easter Bunny. Can I tell you a funny tangent real quick? Sure, go ahead. All right, so I'm, this weekend, my I wife... I myself went... into a corner. I didn't know where to go after that. <laughs> this weekend, my wife went out with her friend because they're planning her wedding. It, uh-huh. uh, they had her two kids. Your wife's them. wedding? No. My wife's already married. To Are me. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> I may have forgot to put my ring on and I'm not going to go wake her up to go get it, but you almost didn't put <laughs> pants on. So that would have been fun. Well, I was Mike expecting episode. record today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, yeah, she was out with her friend and her friend's two kids and th- they went to the mall with the Easter bunny and mm-hmm. uh, the parent before them was fussing over the photos taking forever. Cause they, apparently some people can't get their shit together quickly. And so her, two kids were sitting with Easter bunny for like five minutes, you know, and mm. her, her son, he's like hugging away on him and stuff. He's talking about how happy he is. The Easter bunny's there. And then as they get ready to take the photo, just uh, my wife tells me, he just looks at the two of them. and says, I'm scared. Guy, <laughs> <laughs> like, kids are so weird. <laughs> I mean, have you seen some of the Easter bunnies before? You know, back in the day, like, oh my goodness, they were scary. Like, yeah. there's photos of when I sat on one of the Easter bunnies. It was scary, man. My youngest, uh, he never liked doing the Easter bunny or Santa Claus. Uh-huh. Like, he just didn't like doing it. So, like, when we did Santa Claus with him, it would have to be all of us. So, all four of us would be there. My oldest, he was okay with Santa and the Easter bunny by himself when he was younger. But like the the younger one, when as he was growing up, he just never cared. And like then we just got to the point where we just stopped doing them, because uh-huh. uh, it was like, what's the point? They don't even care, <laughs> like you know. So oh, that uh, yeah, uh, we wasted it out for these people's times with these dumb stories. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, enjoy love our, our little tangent. Yeah, sometimes they do. Sometimes I feel like we just switch them the turn, you know, to our mind. At least we held off until the end. Yeah. Let us know too, please, guys. This is like one of those things that we want, like in emails or comments and things yeah, like feedback. that. Feedback. Feedback. Like, let us know if like these random tangents that aren't monster related necessarily are okay with you guys, the listeners, because we don't want to waste your freaking time, dude. Like, this is your guys' time, your hour, your hour and a half before you go to work or after work or sometimes even during work. We don't want to waste your time with stupid content that you don't like. So just let us know and we'll revamp and stuff. Like, if we have enough feedback and that's being like, oh, yeah, definitely do them. We don't care. Or, yeah, no, we don't like that. So because uh, we can always come up with more monster stuff to talk about for sure for you guys. This has been fun, though, dude. Like the monsters today, we're 10 episodes in. We got what? 12 episodes left of this season, correct? Is there 20, uh, 14. Episodes? 14 episodes? So I'm really ready to dive on into this. Like we're getting through this and we'll be done with this by summertime or end of summer. Uh, season one will end uh, if we keep at our current pace, July 10th. And that's if we keep doing without a break or anything like that. Okay. Uh, which we might end up taking like a week or two break uh, for just our own personal uh, selves so that we can have a break with our families and things like that for uh, whatever it's called summer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that thing that kids are home. It's nice out. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I might be going out of uh, state too anyway. So um, one of these uh, weeks. So, Definitely. Uh, let yeah, us know definitely feedback know and stuff, week, guys. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let us know feedback, guys, at the Monstercast at Outlook.com. And uh, definitely check out our videos just to see the random crap that I put up on screen uh, every so often. You don't have to watch the whole video. If you want to just skim through it, go ahead and skim through it. I don't care. Um, and uh, just let us know how we're doing, guys. We love you. We love all of you that are out there that listen to us and support us and just message us all the time, guys. Yeah. And uh, uh with that said, Tivis, do you have any final words? Uh, remember to vote. Three weeks left. And Rondo. I look forward to coming back next week to figure out what say ah means. <laughs> say ah. Oh, Grandpa's going to eat somebody. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe Spot's <laughs> going to eat somebody. Are we going to get a Spot episode? I'm not going to get my hopes up. <laughs> a Spot-centric episode? All yeah. Spot. <laughs> awesome, that was basically guys. mini. No, no, it wasn't. No. All right. uh, and definitely do please put us into your podcast of choice for the Rondo Award as well, guys. Definitely uh, do that. That that will probably help the podcast and help build Munster's fandom even more. So um, with that said, we will catch you next time as we take another stroll down 1313 Mockingbird Lane. <laughs> Thank you.